performing a monologue in the play Goodbye Charles by Gabriel Davis. I'm playing Jill. I ate them. That's right, Charles. I ate the divorce papers. <laughs> and I ate them with ketchup. And they were good. Mm -mm -mm. They were so good. So you probably want me to get serious about the divorce. That's a thing, Charles. You always called our marriage a joke. So let's uh, use, let's use some logic here, shall we? If A, we didn't have a serious marriage, then B, we cannot have a serious divorce. No, nope, we can't. This whole thing's a farce, Charles. A farce that just tastes good with ketchup. I mean, wasn't it last week when your dad asked you why you walked down that aisle with me and you said, for the exercise. That's really funny, Charles. And I'm laughing. I'm laughing because you are about to give up on a woman who's infinitely lovable. For instance, Paul. Paul has loved me since the eighth grade, and he has sent me over 200 love sonnets. Sure, he's creepy, but he really loves me, Charles, and he sees something in me, and he even writes it in metered verse. <laughs> Paul may be insane, but I value his feelings for me, and I would not just ask him to sign his name on a piece of paper, promising me to just turn off all his feelings for me forever. But that's what you are asking me to do for you. To sign away my right to that sweet voice, Charles, and those baby brown eyes. Those aren't things I want to lose. In fact, I will lose them. I will lose you. I'll woo you, Charles. I've written you a sonnet. <clears throat> a love sonnet. <clears throat> Ready? <clears throat> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of men. And <laughs> this is all a big joke. It's really funny, Charles. It's really funny. Oh, I didn't write this. Paul did. And I think it's good, don't you? So why did I eat the divorce papers with ketchup? So I could stomach them. What I can't stomach, Charles, is the thought of losing you. 